2022 new Porsche 911 full review interior exterior. Ordering a Porsche 911 is an involved process. Before you even get to the fun stuff like choosing a color and coming through Porsche's endless customization menu and options list, you must first decide on which 911 model to buy. This is trickier than you might expect, as the 911 range currently includes 21 different models. 15 of you exclude the GT3 and Turbo. We'll be focusing on the 911 Cab in this review, but the iconic sports car is also available as a Cabriolet or Targa model in Carrera, Carrera S, and new for 2022 Carrera GDS guises, with rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive available. For 2022, the big news is the introduction of the new Porsche 911 GDS models. In terms of power and performance, the GDS and 4 GDS fill the gap between the Carrera S and the Turbo variants. The GDS not only gets the uniquely tuned suspension and some visual enhancements, but it produces 473 horsepower and can reach 60 mph in as little as 3.1 seconds in all-wheel drive guys. That's quicker than the GT3. It also has a standard sports exhaust system for a more aggressive soundtrack for the twin turbo engine and it can be further enhanced by an optional lightweight package that saves 55 pounds and reduces the sound deadening material. All 2022 911 benefit from the brand's latest infotainment system which finally includes Android Auto integration. If equipped with a PDK transmission, remote park assist is now offered in this option. With transcendent driving traits and terrific twin turbo flat 6 engines, the 2022 Porsche 911 is a nearly flawless sports car and it's an obvious editor's choice winner. Apart from being too expensive for most enthusiasts, Porsche's iconic 2 plus 2 seater is as immersive as it is versatile. Along with the aforementioned flat 6 which produces a distinctive snarl and makes between 379 and 473 horsepower, we review the higher powered GD3 and turbo variants separately. The lineup offers a quick shifting dual clutch automatic or manual transmissions and rear or all wheel drive. The latter ensures its incredible performance can be enjoyed in all four seasons. The 911 comes in a cowp, cabriolet, red convertible, or quasi convertible Targa body styles. The beauty of the 911 is its athleticism that doesn't diminish its liveability. Its ride is surprisingly civil, considering its cornering limits and race car like steering feel. Its interior is roomy up front and can be lavishly appointed. And its driver is treated to a satisfyingly low seating position, but also excellent outward visibility. For 2022, the GDS trim levels joins the 911 family. Along with the 473HP version of the lineup's ubiquitous twin turbo flat 6, it's available with an 8 speed automatic or 7 speed manual transmission and rear or all wheel drive. The GTS is offered in all three body styles too. Its most notable features include a specially tuned suspension as well as a 20 inch front and 21 inch rear wheels with the black center locks as seen on the 911 Turbo. Likewise, the GDS inherits larger iron brake rotors from the top tier Turbo. There is also a lightweight package that removes the rear seats and adds carbon fiber from buckets and a rear wheel steering system. The 2022 911 receives Porsche's latest infotainment software including new features such as Android Auto. To celebrate 50 years of Porsche's design, a limited number that is 750 of the special edition 911 Targas will be offered. Based on the experience with my read 911 models, we can confidently recommend the Carrera S. It boasts 64 horses more than the standard Carrera and we'd be happy with either the engaging manual transmission or the snappier dual clutch automatic. Those who want to enjoy their 911 year-round but have to deal with slippery winter conditions can add all-wheel drive for $7,300 if you feel four winter tires aren't enough. We're content with the cow body style, especially since the cabriolet costs almost $13,000 more. We'd also opt for the Sport Chrono package that adds launch control, additional drive modes, and more. The Sport Seats Plus provides more supportive front buckets and the sport package adds a lowered suspension and a louder exhaust system. Our selection of upgrades would conclude with ventilated front seat cushions, a heated multifunction GT steering wheel and Porsche's dynamic light system plus the features automatic high beams and headlights that swivel in the direction the front tires are pointed. We'd also recommend taking advantage of the Porsche's experience center. For $395 plus a $50 damage waiver fee, 
you'll receive coaching and track time in your Porsche at either the Atlanta or Los Angeles location. If you don't live in these areas, you can travel and book time in one of the Porsche's vehicles instead. Prices for those experience range from as low as $400 to as high as $900 depending on the location and model. Porsche offers a choice of four standard colors consisting of white, black, garst red, and racing yellow. The metallic palette consists of eight colors with a cost of $840 each. These are Carrera White, Jet Black, Agate Grey, Dolomite Silver, GD Silver, Gentian Blue, Night Blue, Aventurian Green. For the more adventurous, there are five special colors that cost $3,270 each. Chalk, Carmine Red, Lava Orange, Shark Blue, and Python Green. Porsche will also be willing to whip up a custom color for you but charges $11,430 for the privilege. We sampled two great examples of how to spec out the 911. Carmine Red is voluptuous and shows off the car's curves, while chalk looks understated but less mundane than white, black or silver. Mounted in the rear of the 911 is a twin turbo 3 liter flat 6 cylinder engine. The base career has 379 horsepower, the S pumps out 443 ponies and the GDS generates 473 horses. While every model comes with a ridiculously quick shifting 8-speed automatic transmission, a sweet 7-speed manual is offered on the S and the GDS. The Kelp and Cabriolet have a standard rear-wheel drive, but they can be fitted with all-wheel drive for four-season, high-performance driving. The Targa is all-wheel drive only. We've tested the base Carrera as well as several variations of the more powerful Carrera S, which provides us promise of the racetrack and its incredible traction and adverse weather conditions. No matter the application, every 911 has astonishing acceleration, especially when the gleeful good launch control is utilized. Porsche's optional sport exhaust system also helps enhance the experience by providing a fuller engine note. Best of all, the 911 is as comfortable as ever and also better to drive. Its steering is communicative and brilliantly direct and the kelp and convertible have increased cornering grip and stability. The ride quality is surprisingly supple too, despite the 911's amazing body control which allows the drivers to seamlessly switch between relaxed and spirited drops. With EPA ratings of 18 MPG City and 25 Highway, the Carrera S manual transmission is the most fuel-efficient 911. However, other 911 models' fuel economy estimates don't drop much farther from those figures. On our 75 MPH highway route, the Carrera and Carrera S, both equipped with the automatics, earned impressive results of 33 and 30 MPG respectively. The 911's interior continues to look sophisticated rather than complicated. With a mix of buttons, knobs, touchscreen controls, and for the first time ever, a large center cup holder. The gauge cluster also deviates from history, ditching the mainly analog instruments for mostly digital ones. While these screens have some user experience issues and can be blocked by the steering wheel, the central tachometer still uses a physical needle that follows the engine's revs towards its heavenly 7400 RPM redline. The 911's low slung driving position and supportive front seats are fantastic and the steering wheel has a wide range of adjustments. We only push Porsche's use less piano black trim on the center console, provide more interior cubby storage, and give this icon of a car a grander shifter than the stubby flipper that comes on automatic equipped models. Although the 911 continues to offer seating for up to four, in theory, the tiny black seats are meant as hostile to adults as they were when 911s first hit the road in the mid 1960s. Every 911 is outfitted with 10.9 inch touchscreen integrated in the model of the dashboard. In addition to voice commands and buttons on the steering wheel, the center screen also features the rotary push button controls on the console. The infotainment system supports a Wi Fi hotspot, wireless Apple CarPlay, and wired Android Auto. Porsche does provide two high end surround sound systems that include a 12 speaker boss unit and a 13 speaker Burmester stereo. The 911 is available with Myriad driver assistance technologies, including desirable options such as automatic high beams, blind spot monitoring, and even night vision. For more information about the 911 crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety website. Key safety features include standard forward collision warning and automated emergency braking. 
Available Lane Departure Warning and Lane Keeping Assist Available Adaptive Cruise Control Porsche has warranty coverage as standard for the segment, with the first maintenance wizard covered free of charge. However, rivals such as the Jaguar F-Type offer more value by covering maintenance up to 5 years. The limited warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. Complementary maintenance is covered for 1 year or 10,000 miles.